Hey everyone, it's Dello the Multiboxer back with another video. Now today we are looking at a farm, a gold farm or even a uh, item farm for Lower Black Rock Spire. So I'm going to get a stopwatch up here, just see how long this actually takes. Okay, so what we're doing is we're getting the pattern for the robe of the Archmage. Now this is a jump run in Lower Black Rock Spire and um, it's pretty easy to do with this this sort of group here so uh, let's get this started so let's go in so there's a group of mobs sort of down a little bit into the instance which are going to basically give us a chance at the pattern that we want So what we're doing here is just killing these starter mobs. It wasn't great tanking on my part, but all good. These guys are all pretty low level. Ah, I forgot to put on group loot. So it is on group loot. Okay. Let's put it on FFA. Now there's a pat that patrols around up the top here. I'm not sure where it is at the moment, but we've missed it, which is good. So we'll keep an eye out on that. So we're going to jump down. Watch out for these guys up here. We're waiting for these two to come through. So we'll take them out. Just going to single target. So I'm two hand tanking now just um, that much better with the item that I have so I've got the obsidian edge blade which is pretty absurd item okay still don't need to drink yet let's grab everyone alright so you're basically spamming heals here on your on your mages. And what I want to do is get everyone to drink while you're drinking, you're still in combat. So those packs are pretty easy if you do it in that fashion I find. As long as you keep your heals going. Spam it pretty hard. Alright, so now this is where we do the jump. So we're going to jump down to the lower section of the uh, instance. So you come around the corner, jump down on this platform, down onto the next one. Now there's some pats at the next jump. So there's a, there's a pat right here. So we're going to jump down, and we're going to get stuck straight into this. Excuse my button mashing. That. Okay. So that was two packs together. There's a pack of two and a pack of one. It's not another pack, but yeah, one. And uh, and that's what you need to look out for. If you can do it all together like that, you're going all right. Um, I drop when I drop down, you get a quick prayer of healing because you lose fall damage. Now, there's, another, there's a mob down here called Bannock, and uh, he's a rare spawn, and I've actually been, managed to find him. Uh, he drops the plans for the Arcanite Reaper, so, but he's, only, uh, uh, he's not here very often. So this is pretty lucky that he's here for this run. Um, not sure where he is. We'll find him in a sec. I'm just being very cautious of these guys. I don't want to aggro a second pack. So we'll watch out for that pat there. He goes over and joins those guys. Alright, 
looking good so far. Okay, okay. so let's uh, decurse. Alright, so that guy's gone. So let's quickly get sheep set up. Oh, my mouse is stuck. There we go. So we want to quickly take these down, take out the grunts. Now this guy's going to start moving back towards us in a sec. So we're just going to make sure when we get aggro, yep, okay, he doesn't pull that pack that he was near. So now we can grab him while these other guys are still sheeped. Let's make sure we don't die here. Heal on you, Hugh. Okay, we're going to drink after this. So let's get a dispel up. Dispel. Drink. He's got heaps of mana, so he doesn't actually need to drink. All right, let's go and loot while these guys are all drinking. Nothing exciting. Oh, Magister's Binding. With absolutely bugger all on my server. I'll be lucky to get 5 to 10G for it. Still not sure where Bat... Oh, Bat, he's over here. Okay, awesome. So we're going to do more Sheeps. I think we're going to shoot all of these guys. Now we'll do Bannock. He, uh, he's a pretty weak little boss here. So he goes down pretty quick. He says, may as well just be another mob. Do we get it? Nope. We got some pallet gear. Oh well, it's a shard, a couple of G. Alright, so somehow both of these have popped out. Let's kill them. Let's drop a renew. But yeah, having Bannock show up was pretty lucky. Um, unlucky we didn't get the item, I think it's like 10%, so, you know. You need but um, yeah, it's just lucky just having him here. I think he's like one out of every 10 runs he actually shows up. Uh, let's get my Disenchanter. So yeah, Vendors for a G Disenchant for three. So there's no one that's using it, that's for sure. So I, you can AOE these packs like you saw me do with the five pull at the start. But if you get a runner, it makes things really difficult. So I just like to make sure that no risks, sheep them up, single target. It's not that much slower than money in an AOE, AOE because you have to drink. And, uh, you know, I've got this guy with a big two-hander and all these pretty geared frost mages. They kill him pretty quick. I could go into Berserker Stance, but you take a little bit more damage and you have to make sure your Rage is up, otherwise the uh, Mage is going to pull aggro. Because uh, two-hand slam spec for raiding is all about your gear, uh, sorry, all about your Rage. Okay, so we're almost there, so it's going to be about 10 minutes just over to get to these guys. So let's get some more sheeps going. This is a five pull, but uh, it's the last pull before we get to the guys that drop the item we want. So we'll get the caster first. 
you can put shadow protection on your guys with your priest um, but yeah I mean they don't do enough damage I mean, the shadow bolt volley can hit pretty hard if you're not so well geared um, so if in that situation take the extra time put shadow protection up on all your guys but uh, yeah or you can just counter it like that So 10 minutes and we're up to the pack, so we need to kill. And we could have gone faster, but you know, we're pretty, taking it easy, pretty cautious. Showing you a few things along the way as well. And we have Bannock in this one instance, so. There we go. Another thing to watch out is these guys dispel your buffs. They've dispelled um, intellect off me, which I don't care about, but if they dispel it for it, I'd probably refor it. So these are the guys that drop the item we're after. If you sheep, then you end up getting two packs. So what I do is just uh, sh shoot one with a bow, just bring them around the corner and just sort of face tank them. They go down pretty easy. And then you can sheep them once they come around the corner if you want to do that. need to, only a couple of guys are injured. Alright, did we get it? I'm not off him. I think it's the Pyromancer that drop it. So this guy? Nope. Alright, we'll try again. Got a few cracks at it. Plenty of mana. I think there's one more pack. Come on. I didn't get it. And this last pack, I think it's a two pull. So nice and easy. There's a chest here as well. It's also good. Sometimes it's locked, so if you've got a rogue, that's pretty sweet. I don't think it's worth using a Siphon charge or something like that on it. And we didn't get the item. But uh, what's that? 12 or 13 minutes. 13 minutes, all dead. So you're not too bad. Um, and if you get it, to the check what it's selling on your server. That might be worth something. No auction price there. Um, those heal plus healing items, I'd rather be plus shadow because the shadow priests love that shit, or plus frost. But plus healing might be okay. What belts do I hit plus heals have? That, don't know. There's a good one in DMS. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, yeah, so that's that's the farm. You kill those guys, you get ro Pat and Robe of the Archmage. Let's see if I can. Uh, I want to see my f Facebook. Uh, pattern robe of the. Uh, so that's that's what you're looking for, and uh, drops off the pyromancers at fifteen percent. So you have three cracks at it. I think there was three pyromancers there. Three cracks at it, about fifteen percent, and um, it's. It's sellable, so you can put it on the AH. Check on your server. I think on my server it's around 100G at the moment. Um, I, I got a couple earlier in the 
in the game of like a month ago or something that was selling for maybe 200 um but yeah check what it's selling for it might be a good farm it might not be depending if you can be depending on what else you can do i mean you can farm the eyes in uh like my other video there's another farm i like to do which is basically just completing uh stratholm live side the orbs are really good and there's also a pattern of the final boss called um True Faith Investments. So you that's another good farm is just to do um, live Stratholm. Takes a little bit longer. It's, uh, I don't know how long it takes you to do Strat Live, maybe an hour. Um, but yeah, you can also get some good gear to actually fill out your guys with. So yeah, there we go. That's that's today's farm. Hope that helps, hope it's interesting. And uh, yeah, let us know. Let us know if you've got any interesting farms like that. Um, another good one is DME. I might do a video on that. It takes about the same time, 12 minutes or so, depending on how fast you can do it and how quick you are and how good you are after jumps. Um, and that has both, you need a, you need a miner, quite high level for the Arcanite is what you're trying to get there. And there's also like ghost mushrooms and stuff if you've got a high enough, uh, um, herbalist. And then there's just the items you can get you know, the books, the class books, you can get the Furo's Compendium of Dragon Slaying, which is, you know, that's 1500 gold on my server. So there's options. Um, anyway, we're, so that's for another day. Let us know what uh, gold farms you like out there. And uh, yeah, good uh, good to make a video and say good day again. All right, guys, I'm Dell with the Multiboxer and I'll talk to you later. See you in Azeroth. Bye for now. If I can find the button to finish this video.